Alrighty, hey there guys, Andrew Takasa here, aka Jetterbro95, coming at you guys with a, another video, and in this video is going to be tomorrow's Ultimate Legends. I thought about doing this with the golden tickets that came out today, but I decided to not, obviously, because we're just talking about the Ultimate Legends. So, the first Ultimate Legend that we're going to be discussing right now is Julius Peppers. Um, 92 speed, so powered up. 93 speed, 95, 96 excel, 97 strength, 96 tackling, 99 play rec already on at base, um, 96 block shed, 97 power move, and 99 finesse move. Now, this card looks pretty great. I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be a terror on the defensive line. I'm looking forward to seeing what this card can do, um, You know, especially considering all these fast quarterbacks out there now. This might be one of the better spy cards you could have. But in the same token, I don't know how to feel about that part because you got guys like Robert Griffin, Taysom Hill, and those guys who are like in the mid-90, like the high 90 speed right now. And it's just a matter of like, can Julius Peppers truly keep up with them uh, in terms of being a quarterback spy? So this will be interesting to see, uh, but I am looking forward to seeing this one. But the next one I am really happy about Walter Jones finally gets his long overdue awaited upgrade. I am super happy about this one. 97 strength, 99 awareness, 99 pass block, 98 pass block power, 99 pass block finesse, 98 run block and run block power. And he already has 99 run block finesse. So basically powered up with even balanced offense he gets 99 everything for blocking stats i am super happy about this card this is going to take my offense to a 99 offense which i have been waiting for for a while now um so i'm going to be definitely picking this card up tomorrow hopefully it's not that expensive i could definitely and i could definitely go for like say 300k then it'll be a lot more enjoy then it'll be a lot easier for me but if it's more than 300k, then we might have a bit of a problem. But hey, I'm still going to do my best to pick this card up. I am super happy about this card. Cannot wait to see this card on the, uh, to put this card in the lineup. And then the last one for the LTD, for the offensive LTD, it is going to be Lance Allworth. Now, this one kind of surprised me a little bit, but he still looks great nonetheless. 98 speed, 96 jumping, 99 catching, 98 catching traffic, 97 spec, 99 short, 97 mid, 99 deep route running. This card is going to be a phenomenal card um, in the game. He's going to be one of the better receivers in the game. Um, he And he does get route runner archetype, so he gets route tech for 3 AP. Um I believe he also does get all, yes, he also gets all of the um, in and out elites for 1 AP, depending on what you do, decide to do with it. So you can put deep in and deep out elite for 1 AP. You can put short in and short out for 1 AP each. Like this card is so versatile. You could definitely do with the route running ability. You definitely can put whatever you want on them, uh, with, especially with those in and out elites and those uh, that route tech. So, I am looking forward to this car being on the field. Um, so this Ultimate Legends, these Ultimate Legends do look really good. But there's also something I do want to point showcase to you guys in this video as well. In regards to Madden 22, not necessarily news, but it's more of like a wish list type of thing. All right, and now we shout out to X Set Joke. I hope I said this correct. Uh, basically put up his Madden 22 wish list. You know, this is starting to get into the time of the day where every year where everybody's starting to put up their wish lists. I put mine up about a couple of months ago, I think. Maybe even a month ago now. Um, but he, this was his wish list. Uh, so just real quick, no defensive line abilities. This one is the only one I don't agree with because I do think, you know, I think defensive line abilities should still be in the game. Guys like J.J. Watt, Miles Garrett, um trying to think of all the good DTs, Frank Clark, you know, all these great uh, edge rushers and defensive tackles definitely should be able to get abilities. <laughs> but other than that, um, everything else I agree with. Either remove the new audible system or on offense or make halfbacks drop a lot of passes. This one I agree with, you know, I kind of don't like this new audible system where you can change formations on the fly. Um, at, with ease, with, like, relative ease. Like, I, I don't like it. I think you should be able to, 
uh, I think you should be able to, uh, I think they should be gone next year. Full play clock on offense. I agree with this one as well. Uh, yeah, you know, the fact that you can lose, like, you know, especially if you're on, like, normal t uh, time. If you're doing the chew clock, it's a little different, uh, because you're obviously trying to kill the clock as much as possible. But if you're just doing normal tempo, I could understand why you would want the full play clock so you have all that extra time to set your play up. Um, Two-man sheds turned down significantly, that's obvious. Middle thirds not getting glitched, I agree. Cover three needs to be significantly better next year. Um, yeah, cover three this year was just an absolute train wreck of a coverage. You know, you could get bombed over the top every fucking play. It felt like if, if you were going up against a sweat that knew what they were doing, you, and you ran cover three against them, it was game over. Like, they will one play touchdown you every single drive. I hated that shit. 30-yard clouds not sucking down versus quarterback rollouts. Um, I've not had this one. I've not had this one, so this is more of a, I mean, if it's a problem, it's a problem, go ahead, fix it. <clears throat> you know, I'm not, again, I've not really had this issue. Fix delay fades, I would just say remove them completely. I would say that's the best way to fix delay fades. Or if you man, or if you like man or zone up on that person, on that tight end doing a delay fade, um, they react to it and actually still treat him as a threat. You know, because you could do a delay fade. Because if you play this game in any way, shape, or form, you know delay fades are fucking broken as shit. Because everyone can just put a delay fade out, scramble out, release their delay fade, and they get like 10, 15 yards. I have that happen to me like once a, once in a while. I don't see it as much as, um, don't see it a whole lot because I think a lot of people realize that, you know, if you use it, you're a bastard. Uh, but yeah, I do see it, and it is, it's very fucking annoying. If the off flips, off it, off flips, offense flips play every single play, they should fatigue. Everyone who ran bunch flipped at least once a play. This made offense be able to make faster hot routes while flipping, while the and when while the defense had to, when when the defense had to readjust the whole defense. I would say that you can't. Like I agree, you should fatigue, but I also think while your receivers are flipping, like trying to flip to the other side. You can't make hot route adjustments or call any different type of blocking schemes changes until everybody's set. Um, once everyone's set, then you can make your changes. But if you flip it, um, you have to wait until everybody's in place because, you know, you can just flip it and then you go da 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 da, -da and then go. Whereas, also, I think receivers, if you're motioning a receiver over or motioning out a back, they should be set before you start the play. I don't know why you can move, you could set before, in like, I, I know you could do that in the NFL, but I just think that that's a way to fix it. Take out defensive coverage tells, video coming soon. Also send EA a video showing them defensive coverage tells. Basically, like everyone, like basically, you're screaming at the other team. I'm running this coverage. I mean, <laughs> it, it is what it is with that one. I'm I'm not really there yet, to where I can't tell what people are running quite yet. I'm getting there, but I probably never will. So who knows? Take out user rushers, please. Like, take out user rushing for God's sake. Like, you are just absolute garbage if you fucking use a rush. That is the only reason people want to keep this in, is because they can't they can't use a linebacker or safety. That's really it. So, yes, please take out user rushing. If you want it in the game, you're basically saying you're garbage. Fix 146. I've heard people have issues with that. QB should need Gunslinger to be able to complete, a, to complete passes. I agree. That was kind of ridiculous that Gunslinger happened, has to be a mandatory ability in this game in order to be able to make passes. Take out the bug where wide, where wide open wide receivers do not try to catch the pass or when or it goes or when it went through their hands. I agree with this one. This one pisses me off probably the most besides maybe tight end the, the, the tight end delay fades. This one pisses me off probably the most because I am so sick. Uh, I've literally had games where I'm throwing it directly at a receiver 
and he doesn't make a play on the ball. Or it's within his arm's reach. All he has to do is reach out and try and catch it or jump to try and catch it. And he doesn't, he doesn't go for it. Like, I, it's so fucking annoying. It's so freaking annoying. Because you're literally, you make the correct read. You pass it to the open guy. You beat, you have a touchdown. But because he doesn't jump for it, I don't know. Anyways, so this, you know, this wish list, I do like. I agree with basically 95% of everything except the no D-line abilities. I think this should stay. Um, personally, I think defensive line abilities should be should be a thing. Um, because, again, there is there are D-linemen in the NFL like, you know, Miles Garrett, J.J. Watts, um, Chris Jones even, who's a D-tackle. Uh, Geno Atkins, who's a really good D-tackle. You know, they have abilities. Um, and they can be impactful. But other than that, all this is just great. So, but that being said, guys, let me know down below if you agree with anything on this list. Let me know your thoughts about the Ultimate Legends coming tomorrow. Um, and also, like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.